Tom Crow and today we're going to start a new uh, a new series of videos which we'll call uh, Hacking with Android. Uh, so today and in first part we're going to demonstrate an application which is called Interceptor NG and we want this application for its uh, Wireshark uh, uh, alternative and for its session hijacking uh, uh, capabilities. Uh, session hijacking is uh, the exploitation of valid computer session, sometimes also called a session key, to gain unauthorized access to information or services in a computer system. Uh, in particular, it is used to refer to the theft of magic cookie uh, used to authenticate a user to a remote server. So, uh, Interceptor NG uh, is a multifunctional, multifunctional network toolkit for various types of IT specialists. Uh, it has a functionality of several famous separate tools and its main features, except from session hijacking and Wireshark, is the network discovery with OS detection, the network traffic analysis, the passwords recovery and files recovery. Uh, it runs on, under, uh, on the Android uh, uh, bigger than 2.3.3 with uh, root access and busybox installed. So, uh, and you can find it on, on Play Store, of course. So, here we are with our Android device and we start the Interceptor engine. This is the start screen and if we hit here the network scan is starting. So now that the network stand, uh, scan is over, uh, as we see down here uh, it gives us the current Wi-Fi connection that we have, uh, the name of the Wi-Fi network and the IP getaway. And up here, the uh, current local IP of our machine, of our Android device. Uh, as you see, in our network, two devices are connected. The Tom PC here with this IP. And we select this and the Chris PC here with this IP. We want this too. And here is the IP getaway. We don't want to select this. If we want to do an attack in all over the network, we can just select the IP router here with the getaway, but we don't want it. So we hit the arrow after we select the victims. And first of all, we go to the last tab here to select the resurrection choice here to save the pickup session, the session of the Wireshark here, to save it <coughs> in a file in the SD card. So in the future we can. Uh, so in the future we want we can read it with Wireshark in PC or Li in Windows or Linux or Mac, or in Android device with Wireshark reader. And of course we select the SSL strip choice here, with every encryption we want. But we want this and SSL strip. So we go again to the first tab which is the main tab and here if we select play the attack is starting so as you see here is a, a command line like uh, screen the interceptor starts uh, it says that start capturing on WLAN 0 uh, it found the getaway, it found the two targets uh, and it starts poisoning and logging to the pickup file as we requested. So let's go to the second tab here that if we select play a Wireshark session starts and we can see all the traffic that uh, the two victims uses, where, it, where they connect, uh, what data usage they do and uh, many other useful things that we are going to say in another video for uh, for Wireshark. So the third tab and the tab that uh, we want is the session hijacker. 
uh, the tab with the cookie up here and uh, we just want to wait to wait for the victims to connect to a to a, a, a website so if we go so if we go here in the victims machine which is one of our two victims machine that we're connected we have opened a google chrome here and we just go to YouTube as you see we haven't uh, given any credentials but uh, we just opened the the website that we are or already connected here in cross place as you see we are connected and let's go back to our attackers machine our Android device so here if we open this as you see in the cookie hijacker tab we have some uh, some information here that uh, the machine with this IP have connected to YouTube what is this now this is uh, the cookie that we have stolen if we select this a browser tab opens and we are redirected to YouTube connected as cross place automatically and we can do everything we want as you see I go to cross place and I can go and do everything I want I can go to the video manager and as you see I can do everything I want without knowing uh, the password or the login name or and I know nothing and I am connected to this just with this application and the fourth and last tab is uh, the tab that uh, captures every picture uh, that shows in the browser's window in victim's machine as you see I was connected to cross place and this is the thumbnails of uh, my website uh, that uh, the victim uh, have shown have uh, watched in his screen so that's all for this application as you see it's very easy to steal cookies uh, and uh, just think that uh, someone maybe have uh, cracked your Wi-Fi network and gets inside with this application so you have to be safe we are going to do another video on how to be safe from these attacks and uh, uh, just, uh, just don't connect to free open wireless networks this attacks is very easy in, in open networks and uh, you can you cannot be uh, you cannot be a hundred and percent safe in open and uh, public networks so everything you saw in this uh, in this tutorial was for educational purposes only so operate carefully and in your own property i bring no responsibility in what uh, happens to you if you act responsibly uh, if you like my job, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and we are going to talk in the next tutorial. Goodbye.